Hello students, how are you? I hope you're well and safe. My name is teacher Luke. Welcome once again to this mathematics class. Uh, in this episode, we are going to learn solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. Just to let you know that in our previous lesson, in our previous lesson, we are solving equations with only one variable. Uh, for instance, I'm pretty sure that you've already worked on solving an, a simple equation like x minus three equals four. Uh, just to recap this, when we are solving this equation, we are only collecting the like terms. The like terms, they move on one side. And remember, when a number or a variable is crossing an equal sign, then the sign of that variable or number changes. For instance, when we have x minus three equals four, then when three moves to the side of the four, it's crossing an equal sign, and therefore it becomes a positive. So it becomes x minus three plus three equals to four plus three. We are taking three on the right hand side. So minus three plus three, they are additive inverses and therefore they cancel. Then we remain with X on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we become, becomes four plus three, which is seven. Take another quick look at example number two. Uh, when we have two X plus eight equal minus 10, then we have to first collect the like terms by taking eight on the right-hand side. And remember, here we are having a positive 8. So when it crosses to the right-hand side, it will become negative. So this gives us 2x plus 8 minus 8 equals 10 minus 8. So positive 8 minus 8, they are additive inverses, and we cancel them. We will remain with 2x on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, it becomes minus 10 minus 8. So 2x will be equal to minus 18. And when we have 2x equaling to minus 18, we divide both sides by two. And then two by two is one, one times x is x. And on the right hand side, we have minus 18 divided by two. Minus 18 divided by two gives us negative nine. And now let us try to check this other step when we have multiple variables. For instance, we have got an equation such as five into a minus three plus a equals two twenty one. So what's five times a when you open the brackets? Five times a is five a. Five times three is fifteen. So this gives us five a minus fifteen plus a equals to 21, then we collect the like terms. Collecting like terms 5a plus this a gives us 6a. And then negative 15, when we take it on the right hand side, it becomes positive. So it becomes 21 plus 15. 21 plus 15 gives us 36. So 6a will be equal to 36. Then when we divide both sides by six, the answer A will be equal to six. That's what we are going to do. And then what happens if there is a variable on both sides of the equal sign? For instance, let's say we have got three X plus two equal to four X minus one. This is what we are going to learn in this episode. So what do we need to do? The goal of our lesson is to get the variable on one side of the equation, on one side of the equal sign, and then solve accordingly. To do this, we have to move the smaller variable. Take note of the smaller variable. And how would we move the smaller variable? Just look at the two, the two sides of the equation then compare the variables, then pick the smaller one, move it first, and then move the other two. Always take note of, the important note is that when, when you are moving the 
variables, then take note of the sign that comes before the variable. So take an example, we have got three X in our previous question, three X plus two is equal to four X minus one. So what is the smaller, the variables we have three X and then four X. So which one is smaller? The smaller one is three X. So when it goes the other side, it will become a negative. Then also when we compare two and negative one, negative one is less than two. So it will also move on the other side. So to back to our question, so we have got three X plus two equals to four X minus one. So this is the equal sign, the one that is separating the two sides. So first of all, and three X is less. So we take it the other side by having three X minus three X will be plus two will be equal to four X minus three X, then everything minus one, go step by step. Then three X minus three X, these are additive inverses, they cancel. On the left-hand side, we'll be left with the two. On the right-hand side, we'll have four X minus three X, which gives us only one X. And that one X, one times X is X, one times any variable or any letter gives us that variable. So this will give us X. Then we will have two will be equal to X minus one. Then we also collect the like terms by taking this negative one to the left-hand side. So when we take it negative to the left-hand side, it becomes a positive. So it becomes two plus one will be equal to X minus one plus one. Then these are additive inverses, they cross. So we'll have two plus one, which is three, will be equal to X. So therefore our variable X will be equal to three, as simple as that. Let's try another question. If we have three, uh, we have eight Y minus nine will be equal to negative three Y plus two. The step is very simple, collect like terms. Begin with the smaller variable. So when we compare eight Y and minus three Y, so the smaller variable is negative three Y. So we shall just automatically get this negative three Y and take it on the left hand side. Since it is negative and it's crossing an equal sign, it becomes a positive. And then we shall also compare negative nine and then positive two. Negative nine is less than positive two. So we'll also take it the other side and it will become a positive. Let's try it and we see. So we shall have eight Y plus, because this is a mark negative and it's coming this side, it becomes plus three Y. Eight Y plus three Y gives us 11 Y. Minus nine will be equal to negative three plus Three, negative three Y plus three Y, they are additive inverses and therefore they cancel. So we'll end with up with the two. Then we also take this negative nine, this side by adding. So since it's negative, we take it the other side by just uh, uh, substituting it or adding it with the nine. So it becomes negative 11 Y minus nine plus nine will be equal to two plus nine. So this negative nine and positive nine, they are additive inverses, they also cancel, and that gives us 11 Y. Then on the right hand side, we have got two plus nine, two plus nine is 11. So 11 Y will be equal to 11. And therefore we divide both sides by 11. 11 divided by 11 is one, one times Y is Y. Then 11 divided by 11 is one, therefore, 